Hey guys, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I'm super excited about today's video. This is the highly anticipated banana battle. If you follow me on social media, I have talked about this banana battle a few times on my Instagram, specifically my Instagram stories. I'm like so excited about this. I don't know why. I feel like it's because I think that no one else has done this banana battle, but I'm pretty sure other people have or like in some form. I have three banana powder products. If you don't know what banana powder does, it is used to brighten up the face, mainly used to brighten up the under eyes after you put on concealer. In any of my other videos, I use the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but in this video, I'm going to be using a banana powder. I wanna see which one brightens up the most, which one really mattifies, which one doesn't set too much in my creases, so on and so forth. They're all drugstore prices, and I purchased them all at Ulta. I will introduce you to the three contestants, and I will start off with the cheapest contestants to the most expensive expensive contestants. So without further ado, let's get on to the banana battle. Okay, so I'm ready for this battle. I have my spike earrings on. I don't know. Spikes make me think of a battle. Okay. So the first contestant I would like to introduce is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Now I went on Ulta and I jotted down the descriptions and this says that it is a translucent mattifying powder ideal for concealer, baking, perfect for setting matte highlights and it does not create any flashback. This is a very light powder. It's almost like a cream, not so much yellow like, you know, a banana. It retails for $4.99. So this is the cheapest of the three. Again, they are all very much affordable and I bought them all at Ulta. The next contestant in our banana battle is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Banana. Oh wait, does this one have a shade? This is in the shade 10 Baba Bana ba -ba Banana. Baba -ba Banana. This is a loose powder. So this is more like if you watch my channels, this is more like the Laura Mercier powder. It blends out pretty nicely. It is more of a yellower hue than the Essence powder. This one retails for $8. The description on Ulta says, with a hint of color, set your foundation and reduce shine while correcting redness and pink undertones. So I think with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put it over the red spots that I get on my face because this is more correcting powder. So we're gonna see how that goes. Our third contestant, Ofra Banana Powder. It's as simple as that. This retails for $12 and this had a plethora of ways that you can use it when you go on Ulta.com. Also, side note, Ofra came out with new packaging. All their packaging is now white and super cute compact. And I noticed that they redid this in the new packaging. And I only bought this like three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So I'm a little ticked that I have the old packaging, but whatever, what are you gonna do? It helps to set concealer, highlight underneath your eyes, brow bone, bridge of the nose, middle of forehead and chin. It completes your look as a luxury finishing powder and acts as a light matte shadow shade. I like this compact because it's super small and cute. It's a solid, just like the Essence. It flips up and it gives you a mirror. And this one kind of looks like the Makeup Revolution one but less cakey and it's not sitting in my fine lines as much and I feel like it is not opaque. This one, the essence, is kind of frightening me. It's very white and I don't really understand how you can call this a banana powder because it is so white. The Makeup Revolution is fine but it looks a little cakey and it looks a little dry on the skin. It's really setting in those fine lines so I'm a little worried to use this under the eyes. I think the best swatch, like I said, is the Ofra. I don't know if I said this, but the Ofra one retails for $12. In the realm of compacts, the best compact I would have to say is definitely not this one. I don't like a loose powder. And I know that sounds hypocritical because I really love my Laura Mercier powder. But for me, like it's the summer, it's 95 degrees outside. My face gets oily and I'm looking for a powder that's going to brighten and help me set throughout the day. I'm not going to lug this in my bag. Let's all be real people. You don't want this to get all over your bag, especially because it's not translucent and it's really cakey. So it doesn't really look like it's going to come off that easily. This is the only one that has a mirror and also like a little compact where you can put maybe like a little powder brush in here, but you have to get a really small one or maybe hide something that you don't want people to find in here. 
I don't know. I ain't shady. Maybe you're shady. Maybe you got to hide things. What do I know? What I love about this one is it's really slim, this one in comparison to the Ofer one. And I love the pan. Like it's just a lot more surface area. It's a lot easier to really get in there. I'm going to be using a sponge to apply, but you can always take a brush and dip it in there and just simply touch up your face. That way I am going to be using my little Eco Tools baby sponge. But since this isn't a translucent powder and you need to be more wary of how you're applying it and what it looks like, I'm gonna pick the Ofra as the best compact. Simply because there's a mirror, I can just tap some on my finger then flip it up and then go in using the mirror to guide me. So I guess we'll call this the battle. I guess these are like mini battles and then in the end, it's like who wins the war? But don't get it twisted. I'm gonna name this banana battle just because it rolls off the tongue better and that's gonna be the name of this video. On my face right now, I have primed my face with the Greek yogurt smoothie primer. I will link that below and I'm wearing the Wet n Wild foundation today as well, which I will also link below. And to conceal today, I'm going to take the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer and I am in the shade Light Neutral. Concealer is on and I'm ready to start this official banana battle. There was like fireworks going off, so if you keep hearing like booms, I'm sorry. I can't control people. I don't understand why you would set fireworks off at like two o'clock in the afternoon because you can't see them, but whatever. I feel like that banana gift, you know that banana gift? So let's get on to the banana bit. Taking the essence, brighten up, and I'm just gonna dip the side of my Eco Tools, the pointy side, in. Throw that under the eye. Oh, I almost dipped this in my bronzer. That would have ruined the whole thing. You do not want to bronze your under eye. You do not. You want to brighten your under eye. Not bad. I mean, you can tell this is a lot brighter than this eye, but let's move on to the Ofra banana powder. Using the same sponge, I'm gonna use the opposite side so we don't mix up product. Let's throw this on the opposite eye. I'm thinking a lot of things, but what do we think? Let's take a second to collect our thoughts. In the winter, this shade would look better on me than this one. I think this would be a little too dark and yellow. But for my skin tone at the moment, this is definitely a better shade for me. Looking at the powder up close, it is kind of drying out a little bit on both on the inner corners of my eye. I tend to have like dry eyes and I did moisturize. If there's one thing I can tell you whenever you're using a powder under your eyes, always make sure that you moisturize, 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 moisturize. These two products did dry it out. Again though, powder is meant to mattify. This eye is definitely setting into my creases a little bit more. So the Ofra is definitely more drying than the Essence Beauty Powder, which is really unfortunate because the Ofra got really good reviews online. And honestly, going into this, I really thought that this would win. But as of right now, I would have to say under the eye, between the Ofra and Essence, Essence is winning. Let's throw on some more powder and we're just gonna see if we can bake. This is way too white for me. I'm a little scared, but hey. So that was the Essence side. And now we're gonna go in with the Ofra side. Can you see? It's like really sitting into my creases in this eye. Can you see that is like really sitting in the lines, the Ofra powder? I don't like that. So we're gonna bake for a few minutes. We're not gonna bake very long because I'm kind of scared. Taking our last banana powder, I'm gonna just throw some in to the lid and I'm just gonna take the butt of my little Eco Tools blender down the nose. Oh shit. And it said that it helps to color correct redness. So let's see if it does that. Where I get a little red. I'm gonna put some on my chin and on my forehead. That definitely blurred out my pores and my fine lines. Let's just like set the whole face with this while we're at it. Just so we get the full effect. If this can help me with my redness, I'm literally going to use this every day. 
I think that gives a really nice matte finish to the face. It's not too yellow, it's not too light. This might be my new face setting powder. My trusty powder brush, this is the Morphe E48 to take off the bake. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off camera. I'm just gonna do the rest of my face and then we'll meet back here and declare the winner of the banana war so I'll be right back. This is the finished makeup look. I just wanted to go for something a little bit like soft glam, more like natural without being like too natural. Went to Target yesterday and obviously I couldn't stay away from the cosmetics aisle and I bought the Revlon Colorstay Cream Eyeshadows, a greenish shade that I'm wearing in the inner corners of my eye. This is, the green one is in the shade 735 and then the bronzier one which i put on the outer corners of my lid is in the shade number 710 so i simply threw these on the lid and then to highlight the brow bone i went in with the makeup revolution banana powder because it said that it could highlight the brow bone and i think it did a decent job it's not like a shiny highlight but you can tell it's definitely lighter underneath my brow bone than it was before i hopped off the camera on my lips I am wearing the L'Oreal Color Reshine in number 910, which is called Shining Peach. I'm absolutely loving these lipsticks. I have two shades. I don't remember the other shade that I have, but this is like a glossy, almost like balmy lipstick for those days where you want a little color on your lips, but you also want a little moisture. So this is a great, almost like colored chapstick. So a very big fan of these which I will do a video on these soon. For highlight, I threw on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi, but I only threw on a very modest amount, and this is what I came up with. So enough of the chit chat and banter. Let's get on to the winner of the banana battle. This is really hard for me. Like I said, I still feel the same way about the under eyes. This side is more true to a banana powder. It is, gives you that yellow brightening shade, whereas the Essence Banana Powder is kind of more of a translucent colored powder. So what I will say is I do like this formula better. It does not sit in the dry skin or crease under my eye like the Ofra one does. The Ofra one looks a little bit better right now, but it is giving me texture underneath my eye. That is a no-no. I don't like texture under my eye. I like my eyes to look seamless, okay? I feel like this is a little biased and unfair fair because this isn't a banana shade. I have to say I like the Essence powder the best for underneath your eyes. So I'm sorry, Ofra, but Essence wins this competition. So now we're down to these two. As far as this goes, I know this might not be fair because I didn't put it under my eyes, but this wins the banana battle. This is hydrating. It almost is like a moist texture. I think it's set my face ooh ooh it set my face really nicely and what you didn't see off camera again is i highlighted the brow bone with this and i simply did that using a flat shadow brush and i also brought it down my nose and i feel like my nose looks pretty highlighted i think it looks really smooth and it, i think it looks really good for me my nose is kind of like narrow up top i think it's because i wear glasses so i highlight all between my brows and then just a small line down the nose and to highlight i use this i didn't use my amrezi highlight which i used on my cheekbones you can see that right there see Ooh, ah shiny honestly by looking at the prices i really thought that ofra was going to win it was 12 dollars. i feel like ofra I love a lot of their products. Makeup Revolution is really a hit or miss brand for me, but this is going to be my new summer powder. It pains me because I said I don't want to have to bring this in my bag, but I'm going to have to put this in a Ziploc bag. I mean, whatever. You do it for beauty. You do it for the makeup, and this is amazing. It blurred out my pores. It blurred out my fine lines. It did not sit in the fine lines in my head, and I am really not shining at all. I am really mattified. My face doesn't feel dry, and I have combo to dry skin, so normally if I use too much powder, it does really dry on me, and sometimes it makes my face look a little cakey, but this is the winner. So congratulations, Makeup Revolution. You are the winner of this banana battle.
I'm so happy that I got to sit down and finally tape it. This has been in the works. I do work full time and really sitting down and mapping out and sketching where I want to go with these videos is a little bit time consuming. So I am really, really happy that I got the chance to sit down and really film this video. I hope you guys are really, really excited about this video as well. This is really reminiscent of my first ever YouTube video where I compared to liquid glitter shadows. I compared the Stila and the Pert Cosmetics. So this is kind of the same thing. I really want to do more videos like this. This is really fun. And I think just the name Banana Battle does enough for me. So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments and be sure to subscribe to my channel, guys. Come on. I mean, I look at my YouTube analytics and 90% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe. So it literally takes two seconds to hit that subscribe button. And I would really love for you to be a part of my little fortune finds family. This is exciting. I have big things coming. I'm planning a lot of things. So why not be a part of it and be sure to click the bell button. This way you get a notification every time I upload a video here on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. It's